Good morning, guys. Today, we are going to be going through what I eat in a day whilst running 17 kilometres on a Tuesday morning before work. Um, This is the day in the life of marathon prep, is that uh, my shortest tempo run is now 17 kilometres long. Um, So, yeah, this is is the day today. So, we are going to be going through what I eat in a day. Um, I try and put good food in my body. And obviously movement is a massive part of my life. So I'm just going to show you what I eat in a day. So I've had my rice cake, honey and banana. Um, that is the same thing that I have with all of my runs. And I've just upgraded to three of them as obviously the runs are getting more intense uh, as we're doing a race pace run today or faster than race pace run today. And then I am going to... I can't speak. Yeah, I've got nothing. So in addition to having the rice cakes and banana, so I literally get up, well, I got up at 20 past five, something wakes me up. <laughs> and then I get up and I literally come straight into the kitchen and eat because I'm thinking about my digestion and how quickly I can go to the toilet, essentially, because I can't go for a run unless I've been for a number two. Um, so here we are. I'm just waiting now, the process. I've got electrolytes in here my love island bottle and i just have some um caffeine some monster this is just personally i find that this is really helpful for my digestion it makes it a bit quicker so i don't like drinking caffeine at half five in the morning i don't want to drink caffeine at half in the morning but i'm going to if it helps me go to the toilet in combination with my rice cakes honey and banana so that is the lineup and now we just we wait we wait so i'll go and get ready now and um, hopefully, normally within the time of me eating my food quickly, having some electrolytes and having some Monster, and then in the time of getting ready, the toilet should happen. And then it all just normally happens like that. So if not, I'm just going to wait until I need to go to the toilet because I've got no choice. So, Or actually, I'll run on a route where there is a toilet. That is exactly what I would do. So, But it normally doesn't need to happen. So, yeah, let's go. We are nine and a half k in. Oh, I'm struggling today. Last couple of runs have just felt so difficult, but nothing we can do about that. So here we are. I've had to, uh, I didn't have to stop. I stopped twice. Just for a few minutes. You okay? <laughs> it's a mountain of flower bit. Um, yeah, anyway. I have my gel now, and then we've got seven and a half k to go. Doing the best we can. It's all that matters. Down in one. Don't throw away your rubbish. Who bits you don't see? Oh, ay, 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 ay. It's okay, so here we have the breakfast Ooh. lineup. So it's now quarter past eight. Uh, I've obviously finished my run, uh, had a shower. <laughs> And now I'm just gonna make some breakfast. So we've got some home style uh, granola, coconut spice, gluten-free, whole grain, you know, no sweeteners or artificial shit, which is what I'm really trying to focus on right now. Um, I've got Rachel's organic lactose-free just because I mean, I've got quite a sensitive digestion since I've had endometriosis. So if I can get something that's lactose-free, I definitely will. We've got freaking healthy, I'm really going for it in terms of the uh, high quality food, aren't I? Palm oil-free, uh, almond, cashew, butter, and then we've got a variety of Fruit, I'm gonna have some apple, raspberries, pomegranate, blueberries, some dried sultanas, and some chia seeds. And I'm gonna put all this concoction in here. Actually, I'm gonna have that as well. I'm just gonna put all of this together. I'm gonna have a big breakfast bowl. Now I'm getting loads of nutrients in, protein, carbohydrates, and fats, the whole shebang. <laughs> it 
this is the breakfast bowl. Oh yeah. So we've got granola, yogurt and protein, raspberries, blueberries, chia seeds, almond butter, granola. All the view, all by half past eight. Is it half eight? Yeah, it is half eight. It's been till that and that. So there we are. So I'm not tracking my food at the moment, so nothing is tracked. I'm literally just intuitive eating, trusting myself, and my years of knowledge, and uh, hoping for the best. This is what I do. I sit here and have my breakfast. Look at the view before I start work. So I'm going to have this. I'm going to do a quick stretch, and then we'll be at our desk by 8:45. Bosh. What is going on guys? So it's now one o'clock. Oh my god, nearly 21,000 steps, ridiculous. So I'm literally just having lunch. So I've literally just popped to the shop that's downstairs underneath me. And I'll be honest, one of the things that I do is I actually just buy pre-made lunches sometimes because I just don't have the time, energy or bandwidth to make my own food. So this is 30 AD. I don't know what that is in British pounds. Great British pounds, about seven quid probably. So I've got a superfood salad with Thai salmon. So all um, you know, really good uh, whole foods, natural foods in here. And there's just so much in here, which is great. So obviously we've got a bit of Thai spice on the salmon, which I didn't realize. Oh, I don't actually like spicy food. So we will see. And we've got sweet potato. We've got, as our carbohydrates, we've got beetroot and we've got lots of kale and there's not any dressing as such um, really on that, which will be great. And then I'm getting some more carbohydrates from some more fruit. So I've got some fresh honey dew melon. And then I'm going to have a bit of 72% dark is it cacao? <laughs> I'm going to say dark chocolate. And that is what I'm going to have for lunch. So one o'clock, uh, obviously I have my breakfast, about half eight. And now I'm going to have this and then I'm going to go back to work straight away. And I'm going to work with that on my desk probably. So it is 4.17 and this is a piece de la resistance. I think I said that quite well. So I've got some Ritz crackers, <laughs> some cheese and some grapes because I didn't know what to have as a snack, but I'm peckish. Simon is there, we just had a quick walk. And then we're gonna go eat this and then we're gonna go back to work. Beautiful. Frozen mango, we've got his and hers, so like this is baby one. This is Simon's one. So you're gonna have frozen mango and then Simon's gonna have frozen passion fruit. Not really for me, it's like super, super sweet. He'll probably be happy with that, to be fair. I'll just have, he'll probably have passion fruit and mango, and I'm gonna have mango and banana. Fruit munching queen. Nobody ever got fat off eating fruit, right? Surely not. I'm definitely more of an advocate of fruit than I am vegetables, which is why I try and get my shop bought lunch because it actually adds in an element of veggies in the day because I do eat so much fruit. Literally a fruit warrior. This video has really made me realise how much I eat of fruit. <laughs> I think maybe I want some raspberries in there too. Why the hell not? So now, obviously, we've got our little crumbles. I'm literally going to put some cinnamon on there. I saw someone put some sweetener on there, but I feel like, to be honest with you, you don't need a sweetener. I'm really trying to cut down the amount of sweetener I have as well. So we've made our crumble top in. So we've literally got oats and I actually use muesli because I ran out of oats. And then we've just got a massive big tablespoon of um, maple syrup. And then I've just put like a massive big dash of honey in there. Um, obviously Simon's gonna have most of this. Of course, like Simon has more food than me in a day. So I make him bigger portions than mine because he can metabolize more calories than me. So. It's important that, you know, yes, sometimes we do eat the same, but for the foremost, a man will have a bigger portion than a woman. Just naturally, genetically, they can eat, put away more food than us gals. However, when it comes to meals out, we'll match them bad boys. <laughs> so there we are. Look how cute these are. I freaking love them. And then I'll literally just pop them in the oven for 10 minutes before, and it just softens the fruit and cooks the crumble. Would you look at that? Pretty sure that would be pretty low calorie as well because you've literally got oats, probably a tablespoon of honey each, which is probably about 50 calories, and some fruit. Win, win. This is what is such an incredible thing about kettle, um, about Dubai, is that within an hour of realising I didn't have anything in my fridge, I have ordered, oh, <laughs> some pumpkin and flaxseed granola. That just caught my eye because I'm always run out of granola. I have got some organic spinach. 
um, some organic white frog barley, some tomatoes and some chicken sausages. <laughs> <clears throat> literally delivered within an hour. It's just absolutely insane. To your door, in a box, from somebody who's literally just rung the doorbell and then left. How amazing. What's just happened? 63 floors up. Anna's cooking dinner. I'm on a call. Fire alarm goes crazy. And then we have to walk down 63 floors. Anna just ran 17k, so fair play to her. Yeah, so cooking dinner and then it all went really wrong. Well. The fire alarm went off and now we are here sat outside the local supermarket. The fire alarm wasn't your fault. The fire alarm wasn't my fault, by up. the way, yeah, just to clear it up. And uh, we had to walk down 63 floors after running 17k earlier. My legs are shaking, so we managed to get a poke bowl and now we're going to have some snacks and hopefully, hopefully we can head back up into the building soon. I'm so tired. This is shit. This is shit. So that is not how or what I ate in a day was supposed to go. I was making the most beautiful dinner. Never mind, here we are. And this is what we're having put in. I've got us a protein put in, some chocolate banana overnight oats. Oh, because my watch is saying that I have burnt 3,000. Mm -hmm. 